During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about ground sterilants, what exactly they are, and when you should and should not use them. Brian and I learned a lot of really good lessons when we were kids because we were trying out some different things. So we heard about ground sterilants where you could spray them on some soil and keep that soil basically black and weed free all throughout the season. Well, we were used to running the weed trimmer, like around our grain bins, for example, and we were out there every week trimming weeds, and we thought, man, Dad's got this ground sterilant in the shed. Let's try some of that around the bins. And so, you know, it's just a nice, innocent way to get into a product like that. And, and you know what? It worked really well for us, and it did cut down on how long it took us to do weed trimming because we didn't have to trim around them anymore. However, we learned that ground sterilants are very tightly bound to the soil, and if you happen to get a big rain that washes soil, well, wherever that soil ends up, that ground sterilant does too, and it happened to wash down through some desirable lawn for us, just in a little strip. But it was enough to teach us a lesson that you have to be careful where you're applying products like this. Well, when you think about that too, I would say, hey, if you've got a bunch of rocks and hills, you know, right away you're probably thinking, ooh, parking lot, this would be a great idea for a parking lot. But what's going to happen with that parking lot? If you get any wash, if you've got a hill, it ends up down at the bottom of the parking lot. Well, again, if there's desirable vegetation there, that may not be a good thing. Well, ground sterilants are really useful. And, and we talked about just a couple real quick examples. You think about underneath a fence line that's really tough to reach. You can't reach it with your lawn. All right, that let's kind of hold, thing. hold up right there. As soon as you say that, Darren, I wouldn't say use these in all fence lines. Personally, I'm not a big fan of them a lot of times in fence lines. And here Here's the reason why. Because you use these ground sterilants, they're going to kill your perennial grass that's there, and then when they eventually run out, because they always do eventually, they might last for six months or three months or maybe even a year, but eventually they run out. Well, what's the first thing that comes back? Weeds. Okay, so then you either have to be right out there again right away, or stuff kind of looks bad. So I've actually kind of liked in many cases where I want stuff to look great, I want a lawn to look great, not using a ground sterilant and going out there every single week with a weed trimmer. Well, I find it an interesting discussion and you may be thinking, wow, I'm the guy that does the weed trimming. I think this sounds like a great idea. And you may be the guy like Brian that's like, ah, all I see is potential problems here. Maybe I'll leave that product on the shelf. The point is there are products out there that can control weeds for a long period of time. Uh, and ground sterilants are, are certainly used for those types of situations both at home and in business situations too. Just a couple examples here. Hyvar and Pramatol are products that we've used. Pramatol, for example, comes in both a liquid and a dry. So again, if you want to use a ground sterilant, you certainly can, but just experiment with them on a small scale first and maybe learn in your situation if they are or are not going to fit. When it comes to our Weed of the Week, we'll talk about exactly which products may work to control it coming up later in the show. <music>